my dearest Hootsifer. This letter comes all the way from the very tippy tips of the toes, where the Frostbite Festival is in full swing. Oh, I've had so much iced scream that I might burst. <laughs> but it's nothing compared to the night you had. Oh, it was so wonderful to hear that Edelin has managed to wrest control of, I mean, make peace with the curse. How exhilarating! It is definitely her brand to make the best of a bad situation. Meanwhile, here I am being spoon-fed elixir by mother. But no, 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 it's, it's not a competition. But besides, it really seemed like my raven beast was more than a match for the owl beast. But no, 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 it is not a competition. It really is not. And I, Lilith Clawthorn, believe that. <clears throat> I do. In happier news, I cannot express how much I'm enjoying spending time in Mother's company. Oh, she's even been teaching me all of our family recipes that have been handed down from one claw thorn to the next. It's amazing to experience family history through the culinary arts. I cannot wait to have you try some true clawthorn cuisine, like blood sausage, blood cake, and blood blood. <laughs> Much tastier than those micro-grave meals that Edelin feeds you all. Unfortunately, without magic, I haven't been much use to Mother's pursuits in the Beast Coven. But perhaps that is a blessing. I can't tell you how many parasites she comes home with each night. Last night, I had to pull a fear wig out of her eye. <clears throat> Neither have I been able to help father carve palisman. <sighs> but I won't dwell. I've recently applied for a position at the local museum to help catalog various artifacts from Boiling Isles Antiquity. You'd think spending nearly 30 years at a coven would look good on a resume, but oh no. They always have to ask about the banishment, and the betraying of the Emperor, and the lack of magic, and I just... I it definitely does get awfully quiet in here, doesn't it? Oh, shh, sh oh, hang on. It is just an entry-level position. Oh, sorry. It so delightfully exciting. A chance to reinvent myself. A new, bolder, braver, more cunning Lilith Clawthorn! Ha <laughs> And, after you wrote of King developing a new special power, I want to throw myself into the museum archive to seek any more information I can find about the mysterious island Ida found him on. Maybe... Maybe I should reach out to my old colleague, Flora Desplora. <laughs> She's quite a character. Traveled far and wide, doing very important and frightfully exciting historical feats. But oh, would she even remember little old me? But now to the juiciest part of our correspondence. The Goss Corner, if you will. <laughs> Attention, Edelin Clawthorne, or anyone else this letter is not intended for. This letter has been hexed. Anyone trespassing through its contents risks life, limb, and liability, and I shall not be held responsible for any bad luck that comes your way. <clears throat> now... Oh, my heart is full, full after hearing that Luce and Amity finally managed to reveal their feelings to each other. <sighs> if only it were that simple as an adult. Someone, <clears throat> well, bought me a bouquet of spiders the other day. My mother was interested, she just wants to see me happy, and my co-workers were interested, especially after I turned down their offer to create my incinerdate profile. But I am not so interested. I don't think I ever have been. Hmm. I have much to think about. So I let her down as best I could. The bouquet was lovely, though. Very delicious. Mm. Anyways, I must sign off. My mother says she's received another bouquet for me, this time filled with rat eyes. And I must prepare to let down yet another suitor. B but I will keep the eyes, of course. I've included some for you to share with Luce. I know she just loves trying out new Boiling Isles foods, that crazy human. Right soon, all my love, Lulu. P.S. I've enclosed a lock of my hair, per your request. 
Do you have any idea how many more you're going to ask for? I'm happy to oblige, of course, but there are a few bare patches on my scalp now, and it's becoming difficult to conceal them. Okay. Diary. I was planning on making another video for Mama, but my phone is currently being <laughs> fished out of Hootie's gullet. So instead, I'm writing to myself. Hello, Luce. How you doing? Well, today I helped pick King's fur for three-headed ticks. Amity and I shop for abomination supplies. That goop is made of a lot of really weird things. And I uh, read through a little more of Philip's diary. And wow. That dude is smart. But it's so weird. I followed all his instructions to a T. But my portal still came out so wonky. Did he have someone help him? Had a tough time sleeping, too. I keep thinking of seeing my mom in the rain. I know she'd like this world if she could just meet Ida and King. After we give King a bath, of course. And we might have to ask Hootie to hide, just for a little. Oh, and I'd have to give Ida a heads up not to talk about facing off against an evil emperor or her sister threatening to drop me off a bridge or my girlfriend's parents sending a robot made of magic gunk after me. Maybe we can get those memory tweezers from Hexide and I can... No, 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 no. Erasing your mom's memories is not going to solve any of your problems, Luce. Or maybe it will. After all, Amity and Willow seem to be friends again. Well, they seem to be friendly again. They're still working out some things. So, that's a no. Oh! What's a language everyone understands? Food! I can show her some of the Boiling Isle's best dishes. Let's see. Willow gave me some recipes that her dads like to cook. <gasps> Shepherds die. <laughs> that's a funny typo. You go find a shepherd, preferably one that has recently become undead. You get a cleaver... <gasps> Oh my god, that's not a typo. Okay, I'm moving on! Freak salad with griffin chicken! A crisp and refreshing meal that will give you the wildest nightmares for weeks? Side effects may include the growth of fangs, 21 and up. Wh what are witch stomachs made of? Mac and cheese. Pasta? Melted cheese. <sighs> this one seems safe and less morally questionable. Oh, wait. Mama's lactose intolerant. <sighs> Maybe Amity knows a fairy pie with less fairies. <laughs> two of my palisman observations. Not too long ago, I was able to make mental contact with my pa- um, I mean, the subject of my observations. His name is Flapjack, and I have to admit, I do not know what a Flapjack is. The coven heads are equally oblivious. Eberwolf just hissed at me, as per usual. Darius just ignored me, also as per usual. And Rain, well... They've been acting weird lately. A lot more quiet. I did eventually get an answer. Bellows told me it was synonymous to a pancake. But, uh, I don't know what that is either. He got suspicious when I asked further, so I backed off. You know, to protect my experiment. Not because this is anything worth hiding, obviously. Perhaps it's some long-forgotten artifact of hellfire and pain! Could it be the reason why our family is gone? Why I don't have magic? I must check my forbidden texts. Damn you, pancakes! Well, 
Up until now, I've learned that Flapjack likes singing in the morning, catching the early rattleworms, and racing with other birds. With a scar over his eye and a few other notches in the staff, I could tell he was owned by someone else, but he won't tell me who when I ask. He just pulls my hair and flaps around my scared. It's clearly a touchy subject. And proof that this vile creature is still hiding something from me! His true wild nature, his evil intentions! Today, to further my research into the dangers of wild magic, I decided to put Flapjack through a test. Normally, he gets a handful of crabapple claws in the morning, but today, I put out a single goreberry, an edible but disgusting fruit often disliked by palismen. Routine broken, expectations dashed, how will he react? I hypothesize he will become enraged in his hunger and disappointment. He will show his true wild colors. Dash around my room, peck at me. That's why I'm currently in full armor at this very moment. Oh, oh, oh. he spotted it. He seems aggravated. He's pecking furiously at the gourdberry. <sighs> He's not even eating it. He's just tearing it apart. Wild magic does make you vicious. It does. Uh... Oh. Um, thanks, Flapjack. <laughs> he is eating it, and he split it in half for me. <laughs> I think it's time to conclude these tests. <laughs>